Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! I'm delighted to be joined by the movie star and campaigner for the press to be more regulated, Hugh Grant. Um, Hugh, you're here representing Hacked Off, um, and you are particularly hacked off because the Prime Minister, the late Tory manifesto, ended the government's commitment to have a second Leveson inquiry. But we've had so... I mean, there's been so much of an investigation into the behaviour of the press. Why do we need yet another one? Well, it was always a two-part uh, inquiry. The first part uh, dealt with the culture and practices of the press, and, uh, as you know, very moderate proposals were, were um, uh, recommended by Leveson uh, and then voted for by a cross-party agreement uh, in, um, in Parliament into law and are now being shelved uh, by... But the press uh, is behaving if, better if, than it was, surely. Uh, there is absolutely no evidence of that. The, uh, I mean, I can give you examples. The worst examples you have, um, there was a woman in, uh, in, in Ireland uh, last year who lost her mother, her sister um, and uh, two children in a car accident when it slipped into the sea. And at the funeral, uh, the mail sent a journalist lady posing as a mourner, bringing two children to pretend, you know, I'm... I'm another mother, and to befriend uh, this grieving woman. And uh, those, that was then printed as an exclusive interview uh, in the mail. Uh, so there's, there's but, that but sort of thing. But we have a regulator, there's, there's if so, the, which the... is surely behaving, uh, is surely showing teeth in the way that the previous... Reg I mean, look, the previous regulator was a so joke. Yeah, and, and it, polls show that the public regard uh, Ipso, uh, this replacement of the PCC, uh, Ipso, as less trustworthy than the PCC. Uh, this new one, branded Ipso, uh, arrived at the great fanfare saying we're going to have million uh, pound fines, we're going to have front page apologies. There's actually been no fines of any amount of money at all since it uh, came into existence. There's been no front page apologies and not one single investigation. So I think it is a unique regulator and it hasn't actually done any regulating but, at all. But the other regulator sort of funded by a wealthy individual, a controversial individual, Max Mosley, I mean, is that the <coughs> way to go? That's the one that's authorised. Uh, it doesn't... Th th there is a, a regulator funded by a uh, charity that he set up in memory of his son who committed suicide in the wake of the lies written about Max Mosley in the News of the World, the lies that he, he was involved in a, in a Nazi-themed orgy, uh, which he sued for libel over and won. So he set up a fund in his son's name, uh, and uh, that has contributed to the setting up of one particular um, regulator called Impress, which is recognised, but it's not um, the one that, ever, that newspapers are encouraged to, to join. They, they, it's a good regulator, they could join, but they could equally set up their own regulator, so long as it uh, goes along with uh, the very moderate um, uh, terms of the uh, recognition body. Now, um, you know what people will say about your intervention, that this is just a celebrity whinging and you benefited perfectly well from publicity and, you know, it's, it's, it's all about yeah. you. <clears throat> well... Uh, I have two things, I think, to say about that. One is... Three things, perhaps. One is it really doesn't do me any good to take the tabloid press on full frontal for six years. It really, it, it's the reverse of that, I, I can assure you. Secondly, with the exception of uh, uh, Steve Coogan, who comes and goes with, with Hacked Off, I think I'm the only so-called celebrity, or a word I abhor, who's invo involved in the whole thing. Our key supporters are people like Sheila Hollins, whose daughter, Abigail Witchells, was... Um, stabbed by a madman, left in a, a quadriplegic state in hospital, and medical records stolen and printed in the news of the world. It's people like um, the Watson family in Glasgow, whose uh, daughter was uh, murdered in the playground and their son then committed suicide because the newspapers said she deserved to be uh, murdered. It's people like... The, I mean, those, those, that Watson family on the radio a few years ago saying, thank God for hacked off. That's what keeps now me you going. Now, you want, you want newspapers, in your, your view, to behave more responsibly. Um, You've engaged in the, the great political debate we're all involved in. You call the Prime Minister a demented little Rotarian. <laughs> yeah. But is that, doesn't that demean the quality of debate, that sort of personal insight? Insult? Well, I, f I feel unbelievable anger on behalf of 
these people that I've worked with over the last six years and who went, relived the suffering that they went through. They've been through big but why? tragedies. What, I mean, what, what, and, and I mean they, they just sound given, so given, snobbish, a demented little Rotarian. They were given personal promises by the last uh, Tory Prime Minister, both in Parliament and to their faces, that Leveson would be seen through, that they would be protected, whatever the outcome of it, that they would be the ones who were important. And now this Prime Minister, for short-term political gain, i.e. sucking up to the Daily Mail and Rupert Murdoch to get herself good headlines, to get herself elected, and in fact probably to get herself um, the, the leadership of the Conservative Party, throws it all away. It's an act of, uh, of quite extraordinary... Um, uh, what are you looking treachery? for? A letter from Christopher <laughs> Jeffries. Do you remember Christopher yeah, Jeffries? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. And I, I've seen that letter and it is, you know, it's a powerful, it's a powerful letter. Look, very lovely to have you on the show. I've been